If you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs, stay tuned. Hi guys, it's me, Sharon of Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration. And this collaboration is called Dollar Tree Fall Floral DIY. And this collaboration is being co-hosted by Heidi of Happily Thriving Heidi and Maria of Artsy Cupcake. I have left a link down below in the description box to both of their channels. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this collaboration. Now the details to this collaboration is that we create a fall themed DIY using florals from the Dollar Tree. You can make a wreath, a centerpiece, florals, whatever you like, just so long as you're using florals from the Dollar Tree. Well, I happen to like florals from the Dollar Tree and I have quite a few of them. Some from previous projects, some that I have yet to use. And every season I go and pick up just a little bit more. So today I'm gonna to share with you my Dollar Tree centerpiece idea. Let's get started. As you can see, all my florals here came from the Dollar Tree. Some are new, some are from last season. I've got maple leaves, I've got uh, oak leaves. I've got mini mums and a host of different traditional fall color florals. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way. The first thing you're gonna need is a container and I'm gonna be using this galvanized flower and garden container that I got from the Dollar Tree a couple seasons ago. And I'm also going to be using this something that I already had. This here is from a ceiling fixture and I thought that I would use it sort of like a like a hurricane lamp. At least I think they're called a hurricane lamp. Somebody leave me a comment. What are what are they called? The clear tall ones? I, I think there's they're hurricane lamps but I'm not certain. And I'm going to be using this um, votive candle. This didn't come from the Dollar Tree. This is something that I already had and I believe I got this from Michaels. And I've got my trusty wire cutters. So the idea is going to be that this is going to sit in the center of this. And I'm going to fill the flowers around it. So what I'm gonna do is mark it inside here. So I know where not to put. So I know where not to put the flowers. These are called, I didn't know that. These are called cornflower echinacea. Had no idea. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I leave the leaves on and sometimes I take them off. They can become too much if you're using a lot of florals, but if not, if you don't have a lot of flowers, they can help as a filler. So it just all depends on what you're doing as to whether I take them off or not. Next, I'm going to use the mini mums or the mini chrysanthemums. Hey 
Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. I decided I didn't like the alabaster shade in the middle of my centerpiece, so I took it and I put it to the side. Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. I like how it turned out. And if you enjoyed it too, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate you being here and would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I have other videos linked down in the description box. Be sure and check them out too. And now that you've made it this far in my video, also click the link in the description box and that will take you to the playlist of the other content creators participating in this collaboration. And I want to thank Heidi of Happily Thriving Heidi and Maria of Artsy Cupcake for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. And on that note, you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye. Leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all, and I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up.